Born in Cork in 1973, Patrick Fitzpatrick was considered the child prodigy of the traditional folk circuit. By the age of nine, he was already a regular on the RT Saturday Night Folk Extravaganza, Joe Noonan's Barn Dance, where his unprecedented skills as a fiddle player earned him national fame as Patrick Fitzpatrick the Kiddie Fiddler. In 1986, he embarked on a tour of the US and he played packed theatres in Boston, San Francisco and New York. And while in New York, he discovered an emerging music scene. It was energetic, it was young, it was fresh, it was hip hop. The effect was instant and profound. He told Kenny Shaughnessy of the Irish Times, it was as if I was hearing hip hop for the first time. His deep respect and love for the traditional folk music of his youth, combined with his now newfound passion for gangster rap, has created a sound which has rocked traditional folk circuit to its very foundations. That sound, of course, is gangster folk. That man, naturally, Paddy McDaddy Mac. In South Central Dublin, when I went hip hop clubbing, I first saw that punk ass bitch Molly Malone. She was. Though I mean, he's a pioneer, isn't it? So, you know, he's, he's made folk cool again. I mean, ten years ago, I could never have rocked the Langothlin I Steadford alongside Charlotte Church and Ghost Faced Killer. Before him, there was folk here and half hop here. And never the twin would meet. But then, what he done right was connected the two, yeah? So, all the old fucking stereotypes, for example, in Scotland, we men and cults playing the bagpipes, throwing fragging cavers around like it's some sunny day and all those stereotypes just went out the window. Gangster folk isn't political, so it isn't. It doesn't say religion or nationality, so it doesn't. It doesn't care where you're from or what you believe, so it doesn't. But that's gangster folk, not me. I do. I think Paddy McDaddy Max a filthy, pikey, bag trotting wee agent. And if I ever see him again, I'd pop a cap right in his hole. <laughs> Yeah, he's a fucking genius. I did 15 years for a rhyme I didn't submit. My dad died in jail for a rhyme I didn't submit. I will not shut up. Paddy McDaddy, Matt, it's great to meet you. How are you doing, Scrapper? You can call me D Paddy if you like, it's fine. Uh, okay, thanks. Um, D Paddy, let me first say how much I admire and enjoy your work. You don't need to say that, honestly. Well, you did actually say I had to say that. Nonny smart shit, go. Um, D, D Paddy, uh, can I just say how much I admire and enjoy your work? You don't need to say it, but cheers, you know. Yes, I, I just wanted to say. Cheers. Yes, and, and your first album, um, Fats, Beats and Fiddles. That's right. It was a, it was a seminal album. And um, as I recall, Country Life described it as as beautiful, brave, banging and brilliant. Oh, I think so. And, and uh, Jake Becker of Street Sounds magazine proclaimed it as nothing less than genius and wrote, may I quote, that folk music now fills the dance floors in underground clubs, that millions of young people expressing themselves through the medium of break jigging, and that the street's language of urban kids is that of 18th century navvies, and it's all down to this one man. That's quite an accolade. Now, do you consider yourself firstly a folk musician or, or a gangster rapper? You see, Dick, the thing is... Um, actually, it's Nick. Nick. <laughs> It's Nick, not Dick or Rick or Vic, but he's just a little nitpicking pricky. <laughs> Do you like that? Do you like that? <laughs> Mad yeah. skills. As I was saying, Dick, folk gave us uh, country, which gave us rock and roll, which gave us rock, which gave us uh, funk, which eventually gave us hip hop. So if you think about it, you know, folk is just very, very old school hip hop. You just need to look at the real names of rappers to see that, like uh, P. Diddy. His real name is Sean Coombs, clearly Irish. And, uh, of course, the great Snoop Doggo Dogg. Uh, you got Cypress Bill, fantastic act. R. Kelly, Ryan Kelly, Irish. And then, of course, there's, uh, you know, the Wu-Tang Clanad. I'm sorry? 
great lads, the Rizza, the Jizza, the old dirty bastard, you know. I knew old dirty well, actually. He used to come and stay on my father's uh, notorious PIG farm when we were lads. That's how he got his name, because uh, he was the best muck spreader that Galway's ever seen. You know, we used to have a laugh. We used to go uh, clay cop shooting. Ah, oh, great crack, great crack. We didn't have that much fun, you know, but uh, he did have some great crack. Three, 16, 22. Two grand, lovely. What's that, son? All right, yeah, well, I mean, Paddy's the hardest working uh, folk singer you're ever going to meet, in the rap game anyway, you know, and he's booted the door open for all these young, fresh-faced gangster folk acts, Tafia Mafia, you know, Morris Mendoza and the like. Of course, many more from outside the UK, most notably the Israeli Jewish hip-hop crew, always in the hood, featuring the great talents of Iceberg and uh, Dr. Dreidel, of course. But Paddy ain't like these, uh, you know, fake folk rappers. He's heard the pipes of pipes are calling from Glen to Glen and down the mountainside. He's ridden uh, skinny horses through the streets of Dublin playing a little penny whistle. He's, he's run through the mist with, uh, you know, rosy-cheeked, ginger-haired women. He knows what he's talking about. Farm hands a ghetto superstar. That's what he's come up from, you know, which is what uh, cynical old player haters like uh, that nipple... You know, Bernie Farrell from Keep Folk Traditional and Jimmy Lockery, so-called music journalist from uh, Country Life, don't seem to understand. So, you know, Paddy's had the odd scrape, but ain't we bloody all? So tell us about your approach. How do you compose and create? How exactly shh, do you... Shh, shh. It's all about the three L's. Less talking, more listening, and always make words rhyme. Here. The old hometown looks the same As my low ride takes the lane And there to meet me are my homeboys Snoop and K-Rock Down the lane I look And there sweet Joanne I'm her daddy She's my hoe And it's good to smoke The green, green grass of home Boys, you see, you take folk You take hip-hop, you get gangster folk now, I don't eat meat, I never touch sweets I'm lactose intolerant with celiac disease I'm wary of dairy and any fish dish I gave free the beef because I find it too rich There's one veg that I just can't hate It's great and filled with carbohydrate Cooler than carrots, more hip than turnips Swither on your lips than the swither stamp parsnips Pull it up, my soul Pranks to folk, a triumph of postmodernism Combining, of course, folk music With hilarious practical jokes now, imagine my arse chin represents the entire history of folk music. I'm, I'm sorry, I think I followed through again. No, no, I'm clean. No, no, not prankster folk, Paul. Gangster folk. Not prankster folk. Gangster. How this, you say that? this is ridiculous. You can't make up your minds, can you? I'm Paul Morley, for fuck's sake. Writer and broadcaster Paul Morley. I am talking heads. I've done them all. I've done Britain's favourite smells. I love diabetes, top 100 foghorns, but this is the worst setup I've ever known, in fact. In fact, it's shit. Well, I mean, Paddy McDaddy Mac, he's a folk rapper, isn't he? I mean, he's got to be a player, because they're all the same, that lot, proper players. Someone's got to stop me. But this is proper, proper gorgeous. That's got to be butter. That is got, do you want to try some of that? No. You're missing out, that's gorgeous. Where were I now? Never mind believing in cords, he's done a fair bit of relieving himself in the cords <laughs> all night long apparently, without a flipping ceasefire. I'm so filthy, aren't I? Proper potty mouth, ask anyone, or sod it. You only live once, don't you? That is gorgeous. That's got to be butter. Oh, do you know who else I heard? Sinead O'Connor. 
So, um, D. Paddy, are you a player? Yeah, I like cards, fruit machines, horses, oh, dogs. No, I was thinking more um, with the ladies. Oh. I mean, uh, I know you've been famously linked with the Core Sisters, and uh, there was uh, some lady off uh, Bally Kiss Angel, uh, who's now in a detective thingy, and uh, Sinead O'Connor. Oh, and... No, 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 not Sinead, no. I do have a duty to the booty, but uh, with Sinead, we just did a track together, that's all, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell me more. That's the one, yeah. Well, we were photographed when we were recording, having lunch together, and the papers got hold of it. It was completely blown out of context. I think uh, I was leaning across the table to let her taste some of my soup or something, you know. <laughs> Nothing compares to stew. <laughs> Grind your hips if you like hip hop, yeah, rub your Belfast cities if you like hip hop. I'm the world famous Paddy McDaddy Mac, it's me honor to collaborate with Miss Sinead O'Connor. So, uh, you know, this is me lake, like, this is where I like to come and chill when I'm not touring or in the studio, you know. Sometimes me and the boys, we just like to come down here, cast a line. It's normal fishing, but a bit cooler, you know. We call it fly fishing. But uh, we used to have some bad boy parties down here, man. Sound system, DJs, hoes, you know, Jameson, smelling Mary Jane in the air. Great days, man. But, you know, we, we got shut down. Shut down? What for? Uh, it was last summer, some shit went down, you know. Some boys from the next farm along, they had a bit of a beef with one of me lads and they uh, they rode boys shooting off shells. A real drive-by? No, rode. They rode boy. I, I think it was a canoe or something, I'm not sure, but six peeps died that day, man. It was vicious. Five of me homies and, and Farrah. Who's that? Farrah? Oh, good. Terrible, terrible business. Farrah was Paddy's girl, yes, and... Uh, you know, what happened that day, terrible tragedy. She took three armour-piercing bullets right in the bloody mush. What a mess. We got it under the cold tap, but no good, we'd lost her. We'd all had a few frosties, you see, you know, but when she eventually did turn up behind the sofa, last place you'd bloody look in it. <laughs> yeah, she was long dead anyway. Um, terrible. Paddy, of course, was devastated because it completely, completely ruined his party. You know, the whole village was there, but... Um, I remember just wanting to reach out to him and he was hunched over a lifeless corpse. I remember kneeling down, putting my arm around him, just saying, that's what I call a hoedown. Yeah, he didn't, didn't really like that too much, no. This tree is very special. I've written some of my best rhymes up here, you know, Spud Jam, L-I-M-P. I just climb up here and it's like, the hip hop takes over, you know, it's, it's crazy, it's so inspiring. I call it the gangster folk oak. Here, check this out. Oh, I can feel it. It's crazy. I can feel it. Oh, give me a word, go on. Um, uh, Mayday. Mayday, right. Mayday, gay, pay. Lay, hey, hey, I wish, I, I wish I'd never come here at all. Hey, I wish I was in Galway. I wish I'd kept me nice little cottage by the causeway. I wish I had a rabbit and a cat and a doggy on the mat in the hallway. I wish I'd never come here at all. Hey, I wish I was in Galway. I wish I kept me nice little cottage by the causeway. Wish I had a rabbit and a cat and a doggy on the mat in the hallway. Did you hear that? Wow. Did you hear that? Feck me. That's what I'm talking about, the gangster folk oak. Oh, I've got to come down, it's too powerful. <laughs> Cheers, man. Yeah. That feckin' tree. Wow. Oh, let's go. Go shorty, it's your birthday. 
We're gonna party like it's your birthday. I'll buy you bought this for me, Ma, actually. Because when I was a little nipper, she had a budgie called uh, Bappy after uh, after John the Baptist. It's some character in her favourite book, you know. It was a lovely little bird, but it escaped, you know. It was a terrible shame. She was gutted. It got eaten by, like, a, a hawk. And then the hawk got eaten by a cat. Oh, it was a terrible mess. So now, you know, now I got paid. I, I bought my mum a whole feckin' ovary, you know. It's the biggest ovary in Ireland. My mum's awful proud. She tells everyone that, you know, she's got the biggest ovary in the whole of Ireland, you know, it's a big ovary. So we got, like, Judas over there and his best mates up here. That's uh, Pontius Pilate and, uh, and King Herod there. And uh, them two little dicky birds sat on the wall. One's called Peter and the other's called uh, God. This is, this is a beautiful, beautiful spot here. It's quite a poignant spot for me as well, actually, Scrapper. Here, let me show you something there. Take a look at that. Wow, what a beautiful horse. Beautiful. That's Mary Spice. Lovely. Where is she now? She's right underneath you. She's dead. Chester, 2002, the Easter steeplechase. She fell at the third fence. Landed on the jockey, he died instantly. She broke her spine in three places, shattered her pelvis, broke both back legs. I got to her first. She was writhing, juddering, eyes bulging out, tongue lolling. She was kind of screaming. And then she just started like convulsing really violently, you know? I just held her head, shh, shh, just let go, Spice. Just let go. Oh, and then she died. No, she started, like, shaking and... <laughs> ...sound right from the back of the throat. And then she started convulsing and her, her eyes started darting around and then she just went really stiff. And then she passed away? No, she kind of, like, puked up a lung. I'd seen enough. I stood up, reached into my belt strap, cocked the 45, put the gun in her mouth. Blam, blam, blam! Oh. It's just another chapter of the night. Another ghetto afterlife. Still the insurance ah. paid out. And I got myself this tractor. Look at that beautiful alloys. It's got mad hydraulic speakers, plasma screens, blacked out windows. Wow, that's I could pull, pull a fucking barn down that sunshine. Wow. Of course, there are many strings to your bow. Fiddler, lyricist, gardener, pigeon fancier. There's, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. I like pigeons, I keep them, but I don't know about fancy. I mean, they're just like my little feathered friends. I wouldn't interfere with them. I don't know what you're trying to suggest by saying I fancy pigeons. Oh, but no, no. I, I, I mean, I, sorry, I didn't mean that. Well, you're kind but of making out I'm some kind of like chicken licking duck fucker or something. No, no. Um, and, and sorry, um, and of course, everyone knows you're a great comedy actor. You were in the, the hit show, the 90s show, The Fresh Priest of County Clare. Tell me about that. Yeah, I played a brash, wise-cracking young priest from the wrong side of the tracks who's sent to live with more privileged priests in an affluent area with uh, hilarious consequences, but uh, I don't fall to inches. I pulled up to the church about 7 or 8 And I yelled to the horse, yo horse, smell you later I'd arrived at the church, I met Father Kildare And that's how I became the fresh priest in County Clare In my pack lunch, instead of cheese strings, she put a little lump of cheese and a length of string. Cool, cool. What? We're doing, um, we're doing gangster folk today, not cheese strings. Jonathan? <laughs> All right, mate, it's Paul. <laughs> yeah, Paul, your brother, Paul. No, Paul. Yeah, mate. Listen, I'm doing a talking heads, and uh, I need a rundown on gangster folk, mate. What do you know? Catch Wap music's always relied on waff wimes but we sent gangster folk, Wheelie Wax, and Paddy McDaddy Mac is the supreme folk whapper and whap presents the greatest that the scene has produced. Paul Wass is a white weetard. Bloody idiot. That's it. Mum? So this is me HQ here, Goatscape Records. You know, this is where all the magic happens nowadays. It's amazing to think that, uh, you know, I started off recording in a little shed at the top of my garden, like Daniel Beddingfield. You know, he was uh, based in a, in a bedroom, and also he's shite. Uh, that's platinum there for uh, Insane and the Hay Wayne. And uh, we got gold here, 
for uh, dope styles and sheepdog trials. Uh, platinum here for feckless, reckless, keckless and live. Gold for parsley, sage, rosemary and crime. Um, and that's gold for barns, farms and firearms. Oh, these are a few of my awards that I keep here. I keep most of them at home in the bathroom, you know. But uh, that's me mobo there. Music originally belonging to the Irish. Oh, that's one of my favourites. I, uh, I won it in a celebrity cowpat throwing contest, you know, yeah. I actually threw a cowpat three feet further than my old celebrity mate, LL Kill J. But it wasn't about the winning, you know. We raised a lot of money for charity. It was for a donkey sanctuary. Great day. This is, uh, this is me enema. Wow. Winning that was definitely one of the highlights of my life. Great night. It'll come as little surprise to most of you gathered here tonight when I say that urban music has undoubtedly become the most prolific and important sound of our times. And indeed, it has come to define the early part of this, the new millennium. The contribution to urban music from here in the British Isles has been significant and most importantly, garage acts such as the So Solid crew, Blazing Squad, the More Fire crew seem to have at last died a death and I think we'll all agree, not before time. This year, the esteemed panel of judges for the excellence in new electronic musical arts are pleased to announce a new award category to honour the vast and vital contribution of gangster folk to this, the soundtrack of our lives. And so, without any further ado, the nominations for the best rural sound in the urban category are Tafia Mafia for his album Planfair Totten Clitty Bitches. MC Jockler Rock for his album, The Ballad of the Highland Gunslinger. Morris Mendoza for his album, Maypoles, Motherfuckers and Mead. And finally, Paddy McDaddy Mac for his album, Two Turntables and a Leprechaun. And the award goes to it's Paddy McDaddy Mac, two turntables and a leprechaun. Well, Matt, I fucking did it. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Well, TV's Neil Harmon and Paddy McDaddy. Nigel Harmon and Paddy McDaddy back on the same stage. There's going to be a few hoochies dripping like fuck bridges here tonight. Well, I'd like to thank everyone, but uh, I, I just want to say receiving an enema always makes me well up inside. But uh, to be given this one by TV's Neil Harmon, Nigel Harmon makes it extra special. Cause I'll keep on and on, cause I'm a Capricorn I know where I'm going, I'm loud and proud of where I'm from And I'll keep on and on, until the break of dawn Cause I got two turntables and a leprechaun God bless, cheers! A few pictures of uh, me and my celebrity mates here That's uh, me and Mandela and his entourage Look at the hoochies there man, he's big pimping And uh, that's me and the Pope that's me and Bono and the Pope. That's uh, me and Dick and Dom. That's my best one, you know. I, uh, I was in the bungalow there with them one, one Saturday morning. Funny lads. I think they could be the new Mark and Moyes, you know. I think it's a terrible shame that Ireland's never really produced any comedians like that, you know. <laughs> Bogey, they say. <laughs> Bogey. Have you seen it? Uh, oh, Bogey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, hilarious boys. Yeah. Bogey. Bogey. <laughs> Funny lads. So, uh, this is my manager's office here. Ah, t uh, Tommy Toolin? Yeah, yeah, we'll see if we can catch him. There he is, my boy. Paddy, Paddy McDaddy Mac. How you doing, my son? Lovely to see you. And some friends, beautiful, lovely. Lovely, lovely to see you. Take a seat, my friend, take a seat. Light refreshment, anyone? No? Perhaps uh, something a little bit harder? No, a bit too early, is it? I shouldn't really say this in case the wife is, but uh, I sometimes have this for breakfast.
<laughs> There's the burn. <laughs> Lovely. So, my son, how's it going? You're getting everything you want off Paddy here. You're getting everything you need for your little documentary. Oh, yeah. You're getting yes, everything. Thank you very much. It's, um, it's been very revealing. I mean, uh, I haven't seen the final edit yet, but certainly... I'd I love to. Just make, make sure I, I'm happy with it. You're happy with it, more importantly. Right. Most importantly, Paddy's happy with it, you know? Well, here's my card, anyway. So, uh, uh, if you uh, got any questions, uh, any... Sorry, this is a, a bullet? Is, is that the word oh. dick? So, on? sorry, dick. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, um, well, actually, my, my name's Nick, but I mean, Dick. Dick's fine. I mean, Dick's good. <laughs> Dick is good. My wife here certainly seems to think so. Look at her, 19. Lovely. Goes like shit off a Teflon shovel, my son. Don't speak a bloody word of English, but, you know, who cares? Uh, she's got a mouthful most of the time, isn't she? <laughs> Enough of this gay banter. Paddy to business. I need a uh, vocal mix by six, and then you've got an interview with Westwood on Radio 1 at 9. Don't go out drinking with him again tonight, my son, please. Not after last time. He got his flipping stomach pumped. Westwood only went and got bloody shot. Unbelievable. Anyway, new merchandise came in today. We got the, uh, the Nike Pikey here. Fat Nike swoosh. We got our fat laces there. Performance heel. Waterproof up to about 15 inches, my son. See, the great thing about uh, sponsorship deals like this is, you know, it's a good money maker, but... You know, Paddy McDaddy Mac, everyone knows, he'll only put his, his name to quality products made by the finest craftsmen in uh, Chang Lok Primary School, Indonesia. Bloody hell, that's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Anyway, take a look at that, my son. Lovely. Hello, Tommy Toolham. Word up, Dre. Word to you, Ma. How are you? Paddy McDaddy, Matt, what does the future hold for you? I'll be making rhymes and beats till the day I die. Um, I'm also reading for a part in a Hollywood blockbuster at the moment called Beaver. And it's about uh, a giant beaver who terrorises a, a group of hikers, you know. It's nothing like Anaconda with, uh, you know, Ice Cube and that joint snake or uh, Deep Blue Sea with LL Cool J and that joint shark. I'm also writing the score for a West End musical by Ben Elton at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a folk hip hop thing, you know, and it's set on an inner forest estate where uh, there's two gangs of squirrels fighting for territory, the Reds and the Greys, you know. Um, it's kind of like, you know, Beatrix Potter meets Tarantino. It's, it's no feckin' panther rhyme. It's kind of like, uh, think Wu-Tang Clannad doing Watership Down and you're kind of close. Good luck with that, and uh, it's been a pleasure meeting you, and uh, doubtless we'll see plenty more of you in, in the future. And uh, Paddy McDaddy Mac, thank you for the music. Cheers, Scrapper. Got it. I don't know what you heard about me, but if you're trying to get a point out of me, you won't because I'm in poverty, because I claim disability. You see, I've got a gammy left knee, and so I walk like a GIMP The little children laugh and follow me Because I've got a feckin' L-I-M-P Jack a Jack and Ori Take a seat, I'll tell a story Which begins with a visit up to see me boy Rory On his farm the day was warm We had the drink, we had a yarn And he winked and said he had the treat to show me in the bar Now, I ain't got nothing against men who like men I know a lot of homosexuals They're all friends like Len and Ken Sven Even Eminem and all the ones that don't rhyme about another ten I'll hang with them, I'll wipe their drinks in the boozer So I'm told